Hello everyone, welcome back to How to Build Planes and Besiege Part 4. In this video I will show you how you can add landing gear to your plane, but also add a feature that you might call autopilot. Adding gear to your plane is quite simple. Just like in real life, you can do it in many ways, but there are two categories mainly, retractable and fixed landing gear. We will add both methods to our plane. You should mainly try using unpowered wheels as your gear for your plane. But you can also use this block or this small wheel. Now, simply take a suspension block, place it here and then just take a small wheel and add it onto the suspension. You can rotate this to your liking. And there we go, that's how you could make fixed gear. To make retractable gear, you can simply use steering hinges. Take a steering hinge, add it underneath your wings, add a suspension to that and then put a unpowered wheel on the side. Now move the wheel to the middle and now bind the keys and limit the angle on one side. Turn off auto return and there we go, a pretty simple retractable gear. But what if you wanna go a little bit more fancy, like rotate the wheel to make it flat like a wing. Take another steering hinge, add it onto the suspension and then add your unpowered wheel on it. Now it looks better, doesn't it? The heavier your plane is, the more wheels and the harder your suspension will have to be. Now that you know how to make your landing gear, how about we go a little bit more fancy? We will add something to your plane that will give it the ability to not roll but also not yaw. All we will need is this sensor. Simply add two in the x-axis and in the y-axis. Now, here comes the slightly complicated part. If we leave the plane fly itself, it will start to yaw, roll and do whatever it wants. This happens because there are slight imperfections on our rudder, elevator, our aliron or sometimes even on our center of mass. It might be a little bit too much in the front, maybe a little bit too much to the side, it depends. Now we can fix the issues with our calm by simply placing mass blasts on certain places. But what we cannot fix is imperfections on our rudder, aliron and elevator. To fix those we will need mods, but since this is a vanilla build, we can't do that. Instead we will be using rotational sensors. If you haven't noticed, there is an option to limit the angle of your sensor and also a key that will be triggered if the specified angle is met. This means that if we set the angle on 5 degrees and our plane elevates 5 degrees down, it will trigger a key. This key should be the key bind you use to make your plane go up. Same goes for the rolling axis, but instead of the elevator keybinds, 
you will have to use the keybinds you used for your librarians. Since you now understand how the whole system works, let's bind everything correctly. Simply do the same as I am. Bind the keys correctly and limit the angles to 5 degrees and minus 5 degrees. Take the wrench tool and add a key to activate these sensors, like Z for example. Once you're finished, fly into the air and test if this system works. If your plane starts to pitch up, down or roll violently, then you did something wrong. But if it doesn't, then congrats, you made yourself an autopilot. And this is how you make yourself a landing gear and autopilot in the siege. But you haven't only learned that. Now you should be fully capable to build planes in Besiege. This was the final video of it. In the next videos I will show you how to make your planes look good with the use of a few mods, but also improve the design of your plane. If you want to know how to do that, simply click on the next video on the top corner. If you have any questions or requests, simply comment and I will reply to them. Thank you for watching.